My name is Cody Rogers and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and add symbols and footprints from Snapada. So like, let's just imagine that you've picked out a part like this one, LTV-846. Um, it's an opto isolator and you want to use it. It's for your project it's just perfect you've read the data sheet it does everything you want so of course you want to add it to your schematic in KiCad 6 so you press A loads all those libraries up then you type in LTV-846 oh. it's not there I can see LTV-847 but not 846 well, dang. Now, you either have to do some more work to make a new symbol, or you have to find a new part, which is even more work, or you can go and you can try and see if it's on SnapAda or some other site like it. So let's go back to my web browser, and I will go up to the SnapAda site. I've already had it loaded, and I will type in LTV-846. Well, there it is. Click that. Let's see what it brings up. Oh, yeah, it has the symbol, the footprint. The 3D model's not there, and the simulation is there. But, you know, I'll, I'll be okay with the symbol of footprint. Yeah. Let's go click Download Models. Brings me to a new page. Okay. Now I can click download symbol and footprint. Now before you do this, you want to make sure you're logged in because if you aren't, it will bring you to a page to log for you to log in and um or to make it an account. So let's go download symbol and footprint if you're logged in. I'm logged in. Then I click KiCat. Then I click V6 and later. Okay, it says it's done. Click show in folder. Well, there it is. I'll click Control X, and then I'll go to where I store all my KiCad libraries. Public, a public one. KiCad libraries. Control V, and then I'll extract it. Okay, and now I'll just move this to trash because I don't need it anymore. Open. There's the symbol. Then, oh, that's a yucky name. I'm gonna rename that. I'll say LTV-846 There we go. Rename. Good. Well, now let's go into KiCad. Wait, before I add it to the schematic, I of course have to add it to my symbol library and my footprint libraries. So I'll go Preferences in my main menu, Preferences, Manage Symbol Libraries, put Global Libraries, we want to be Global Libraries. If you want to use it for many projects, if you wanted to use it just for this project, then it's good in project specific. But let's go say we're going to use it in many projects. I'm going to click Add Existing Library to Table, this little folder here. Then, yeah, so I have to go to Public usually, find it, then it's here. There we go. It's my, this is my fourth take on this video, so that's why that was already loaded up. But you usually have to go and find the folder first. So now, I go to Manage Footprint Libraries. Again, I'm going to go into the Global Libraries. And then we go down here, and you see a difference here is that that folder has a little down button. So now I go KiCad, I want a KiCad folder dot with KiCad dot KiCad mod files. That's what I want. So I click that. Then I click LTV 846 because I want to load that one in. Click open. There it is. Now I'll click OK. Now they should all be there. Let's go see if they are. I'll press A. Then I can go type in LTV dash 846. Well, there it is. Okay, now I'm going to have to put out all four parts of this one. So whoever designed it, designed it into four separate 
looking symbols, but they're all still connected because it's four different channels would be the idea. So you want to keep them separate. So let's press E. And look, it says it has that long name for the footprint. That's not what we have for the footprint. So here, I'll show that again. I go on that footprint field. I press this like bookshelf looking thing pops up here and now I can go into that search bar and I can type in LTV well there we go that's what I want I double clicked that and then looks all good press OK there we go should it is all the footprint and the symbol are added to our libraries I just added the symbol to the board here and then I assigned the correct footprint to it. Well, I would also recommend though that you check the data sheet to make sure that the symbol and the footprint are good, like all cool with the data sheet. I don't have time to show you that in this video, but I do recommend you do that. That might be a fu future video. But anyways, thank you for watching this video and I hope you tune into some of my future videos especially the next one where I'm gonna be showing you how to use the uh, snap ADA plugin thank you